Hello, what's up mga kasisapi? Mayong auto, kaninyo tanan? Na panioto na ba ang tanan? Iko partner na panioto na kapartner? Um, yes, partner Dana, partner, and actually we're in uh, the game three of this uh, CEL season one, uh, UCLM versus UC Maine. So the day battle against the sister school teams, pala partner. Oh, that is actually my alma mater right now. Uh, UC Maine uh, campus. Uh, um, I, I pretty much uh, know the players uh, such as uh, uh, Dale, uh, uh, the person that I've uh, actually met last time. Uh, naka, no, nakalaro yan sa tour na sa UC Maine. Eh. Uh, like, magag magagaling talaga sila. Like, we've, we've got wrecked and lamun talaga kami sa kanila partner. Eh. Ah, I see. You are from UC, pal. Kaya kakala na sister teams mo na nagkalaban. Oo. Eh, Dale versus Kodo match-up to eh. Dale versus Kodo match-up. Puro mga mamaw. Anong meron sa Dale versus Bobo match-up? Ah, uh, ito kasi si Dale kasi. Um, ito yung team captain sa kapila. Tapos ito si Kodo. Um, bali, known to si Kodo na, ano, na top one na uh, support. Oh, okay. balita po ang support. So, basically, si Dale din is isa tank support din yan si Dale eh. So, magaling din yan mag, ano, mag, mag zoning, uh, magaling din yan pumitas. Bali, kaya Kodo versus Dale talaga to eh. Kodo versus Dale match. So, now we're now on the drafting phase. So, first ban goes to Kari. O, oh, uh, Kari talaga first ban ngayon kasi yun yung metang meta eh. Like the damage output from Kari is really um, over the roof. Talagang malaki talaga yung damage niya, lalo niya ano, lalo na. So hindi nakaban yung UC main campus sa so, first ban. Oo, parang may uh, parang may technical issues pa. Uh, it's either technical issues or ano, difficult difficulty on choosing who na hindi nakaba na wal, walang ideya sa isa't isa kung ano ang mga possible bans ng kada heroes. Oh, oh, I think they have a technical so, issue. For this main campus, uh, first pick goes to uh, UCLM. It's still on UCLM. Ano niya talaga, nabiburse niya minsan yung kalaban or Oh, that was actually uh, It's actually glue Which is actually, sa so lahat ng games ngayon, ha, may glue na picking ngayon Kasi ang glue kasi is nakaka, ano, nakakairita ang kalabanin eh Like, as well, I've said earlier sa previous games Kasi nakukontrol niya yung kalaban Na, na, na mamanipulate niya yung mga uh, kalaban niya Especially uh, yung mga marksman or yung XP lane ng kalaban na, na mamanipulate niya. So Mia and Saber for UC Maine, that's pretty old, old school. Namet na nila check ping pa. Mukhang check ping ata. I guess there are some technical issues. So ito, um, this will be a check ping lang siguro na ano picking so uh, let's wait for the uh, for the final draft picks uh, for the final draft picks yeah. so Azure. so that's why they have a possible na technical issue oh kasi hindi nakapag-ban yung dalawang kasi ako rin nun nang hihinala na rin ako kanina walang walang ban ng dalawang da, walang dalawang ban yung ano UC main campus usually meron talaga yung kahit wala silang ideya sa isa't isa di ba yes pero hindi nang hinakala na Technical pala. So that's why they need to have So, ayun niya. So, while fixing the technical issues uh, 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 What do you think? Uh, ikaw pa rin, Artie, anong, anong expectations mo sa laro na? 
so far expectations ko to sa laro is it's I don't have any ideas of what the gameplay styles for both sister scoops so that's why I don't have any any predictions with this game so uh, ano eh ano kasi itong mga dalawang dalawang team to na to eh uh, bali unpredictable talaga although although pareho sila natalo sa ano sa unang games nila pero still there's that urge na gusto pa rin nilang manalo talaga eh parang uhaw na uhaw to sa panalo since pareho silang 0-1 eh so, ano ang tinalaban nung you see me So, itong UC Mates is nakalaban nila yung USC kanina. Sila Gengo, sila Gods of God. So, na-sweep sila ng 2-0, ng 0-2. So, and ito namang ano, ito namang UCL, na-sweep din to sila eh. 0-2 din. Ah, bali ano, I mean, baliktad nila yung UCL yung pala yung ano, nakalaban nila yung USC. So, bali, this match is actually the battle of losers. They joke lah. They joke lah. Alma mater, you see, alma mater. Yang partner kor na alma mater pala. Alma mater, I love you see, I love you see. The more of my friend, for real. Although, although I know. Shout out sama tega you see. Hello, hello there. So we are still waiting for the draft picks. Um, how was your holiday, pala partner? Ligo na talo, ligo na tanong. Kasi mahabang habang holiday sih ni. Yung yung ML pa rin, ML. Walang inuuman ganun. Walang inuuman pala. Hindi kasi ako nagtatagay. Ah, ganun wala. Good boy pala ako. Oo. Inaantay talaga. Maraming nag-aantay ng January 7 eh. Kasi ang daming events na ano, pwedeng mangyayari. Like, Sinulo. Oo, Sinulo preparations dito sa Cebu, syempre. Yung mga taga Manila dyan or sa hindi mga taga Cebu. Pwede kayo, oo. You should visit the Sinulog Festival here in Cebu City. Kasi, ano, kumbaga, ito yung talagang nagpapabongga sa Cebu eh. Like, naghahanda na sila para sa street parties and et cetera. Pero, may suggest kung pupunta kayo dito, dadalo kayo para sa Sinulog. Huwag kayo mag-night party or mag- Kasi meron yung mga restrictions. Hindi din partner sa restrictions lang, pero ang dami na kasing mga siraulong na gano'n nagsasilabasan pag gabi eh. Sa, ano, sa sleep walk party sa gabi. Kaya to all uh, Filipinos out there na gustong pumunta sa Sinulog Festival here in Cebu City, uh, I suggest uh, going uh, at daytime para iwas na lang sa gulo and iwas sa disgrasya. So that's it. Yung last day na Toslobuwa Festival doon sa Pasig, it's a, it's a event. Oo, oh, oh, Toslobuwa Festival. That's actually a nice event. Pinakamasarap na kainin, which is a Toslobuwa. Uh, so, how many minutes, how many minutes for, no, for the draft picking? So ano predictions mo partners sa ano sa M4? Para ako sa akin Echo versus Onik. Echo versus Onik ulit. Onik PH. Indo. Indo na Echo. Okay. Cartesi versus Kyrie. Okay, that's a great matchup nga pala Cartesi versus uh, Kyrie. Mga mama o mag ano? Mama o jungle. Oo, mama o mag Korea ang mga yan eh. Talagang ano um, sa api, may mga mamaw na, mag, na core players. Yung sa kanilang mga mamaw is to the next level talaga eh. Bali, ano, hanggang kung dito, yung pick natin dito is taas lang ng 11th floor ng building. Yung pick nila doon, Mount Everest na eh. Yung mga skills nila, grabe talaga. So, eto na, picking. You sell them. Again, first man will be Faramis, the most annoying uh, um, support in this season. And the first ban of UC UC Main will be Hayabusa. That's pretty unusual. So why they they ban Hayabusa? I I have no idea, partner. Maybe because of its 
uh, mobility wise uh, because it's mobility wise since nakakatakas yan nakakapagpitas and actually oh, madali madali yung makakapitas partner kasi yung ultimate niya parang kung baga sa Dota yun yung juggernaut ng, ito yung juggernaut ng ML eh, di ba? So second ban ng UCLM is 1-1 is a ring ano nakakapikon na hero yung yung pa crossbow of tango o yung pag ano niya pag pagtatalon-talon niya nakakainis yun and lalo na pag naka-stack niya and the second ban for UC main which is grok ano yung grok grok is actually used good for zoning talagang nakaka nakakaano ito talaga yan kasi ah uh, Grok has this passive skill na pag tumikit siya sa wall pa, hindi siya tatabla ng ano, may immunity siya sa lahat ng uh, crowd control, di ba? Oh, so first pick from the UCLM which is Kari. Kari actually, that that's actually uh, uh, expected kasi metang meta. Uh, first two picks of UC main is Blue and uh, Valentina. Valentina is actually, kung maga sa top 3 most annoy, annoying supports is Valentina talaga yung ano eh unang-una talaga eh kaya nga para sa Valentina Valentina tapos ano Sigi tapos Nana ah, yun talaga yung top 3 talaga ng most annoying ano eh uh, supports okay so next two picks for UCLM which is Kadita oh, Kadita uh, Kadita and Lapu-Lapu na ba Kadita is actually a pretty useful hero kasi lahat halos lahat ng heroes na burst niya eh sa uh, kalaban nagtatago lang sa sa bush tapos makakapitas na uh, kaya highly highly recommended pick talaga siya ng ibang mga players pero ewan ko lang sa first uh, ano first games uh, walang nagpi-pick ng Kadita um, kasi sa pagkakaalam ko I mean it's not about it's not like I'm I'm teaching uh, Everyone, lalo na sa mga nanonood na it's not like it's actually just my opinion na kung sino yung hindi pa nagagalaw na hero for like uh, five seasons ma o na mahigit like Kadita ma maganda talaga yung pick yung Kadita kasi nga hindi yung ano yung damage output niya nandun pa rin eh hindi siya nagagalaw so bali ano lang bali ano siya stable siya kaya magandang ipick yung mga ganun yung mga uh, nalilipasan na ng panahon yung langoy-langoy ng Kadita. Oo. Ang hirap, ang hirap talaga ng kalabanin ng Kadita kasi napaka-unpredictable na hero na yun eh. Ito okay. naman na uh, Lapu-Lapu. Yusko pa rin ang Oo. Kadita hanggang ngayon. Itong Lapu-Lapu na pick partner, grabe ito. Ang open ito. Overrated plus underrated na ano, na hero kasi. Kasi ano, may sustain, may sustain damage na. Meron pang ano, meron pang sustain lifesteal. Kaya yeah, itong maganda talaga yung Lapu-Lapu. Oh, what is this? Seems like a technical error na naman. May dalawang harit na mukha yung napik sa ano, so sa UC Mate. So they pick Kupra and Fanny for the UCLM. Side of UCLM. Or they, they go for Assassins. So, Ling? So, okay, oh, they lock short. Ling and Kupra. What yeah. about for UC Mate? What oh, is their last pick? Maganda tong Kofra part, Kofra partner kasi dalawang ano mobility wise na hero sa ano sa UC main kasi Valentina medyo makulit niyan eh. Para rin niyang harit na may unlimited na ano unlimited dash. Oo, oh, oh, unlimited dash tapos meron pang harit na dash ng dash pag naka-ulti at bilis ng cooldown. Kaya maganda yung Kofra. And uh, Sun Wukong. Sun Ooh. That, that is actually a good pick para ma, ano, ma confuse yung target ni Kari since, since we all know that Kari is a single single target hero single single target hero lang. So hindi niya ma-focus kung saan yung ano. Hihintayin pa niya na mag-low HP yung Sun Wukong para para ma-target niya talaga yung Sun Wukong eh. So that is actually a good pick. What is a price pick coming from the UC main which is a Sun? Wala pa rin, wala sa meta. They surprise us. Oh, even though ano, wala sa meta yung sad ngayon partner. Pero ano pa rin eh, mamaw pa rin yung pag naka Talagang bubuhat ng bubuhat yun pag naka item kasi tapos pag ano, pag uh, late game na, kaya niya mag push.
Ito yung ano, naka, naka pag, na ang disadvantage ng ano partner yung Sun kasi kailangan niya pang mag-farm in the uh, early game para makapag-item siya eh, para makapalag siya. Oh, without I am you with the Valentina, kinuha ang ultimate nila po lapo. The first turtle goes to UCLM. Kaya nga pala i-invade na ba ang blue buff ni Sun? Kunin na ba? O may contested pa? So the first oh with the retribution coming from the link so mas advantage na yung link compare sa sun partner eto yung sinasabi natin partner na no zoning tingnan mo yung kaja partner ng UC me oh with the petrify with the dumalaw oh. ng ating kadita oh, eh. namatay ang ating valentina eto na yung sinasabi ko partner na maganda talaga i-pick yung ano kadita kasi nakakap nakakapagpitas siya kahit siya lang mag-isa di ba Kita mo naman, burado agad yung... So, 3 on 2, bumalik na ba? Hindi na bumabalik. Now, with the Tempest of Blaze, namatay. Mamatay ng ating core at tabla ang labanan. Compare sa core to core. With the first pa, first kill spamming. Eh, with the split-split coming from blue. Uh, and uh, nasanib doon sa... Oh, with the kill coming from blue. Namatay ang napitas, ang lapu-lapu. Yun talaga yung nakakainis partner, no? yung nasa niban ka ng, ano, ng blue. Kasi na, nahahata ka pabalik eh. Bis gusto mo na mag-back, nahahata ka pabalik para, <laughs> oh, para makill ng laban. Yun yung nakakainis talaga eh. Oh. Top lane. Oh, yung top lane, the class, the one on three, with it. Oh, well, oh, lumalangoy na naman. Ano natin ka dito? Namatay na natin si Harin. Grabe na talaga. Three on one, hindi na nalit na pumunta ang core nila si Sun at si Valentina. Oh. Bumalik na sila sa kanilang lane. Grabe talaga ang rotation sa UCLM. Oo, oh, di talaga makakagalaw yung UC main ngayon dito, partner. Kasi nga, kahit ga gaano, ano, mobility-wise yung mga hero ng mga... Ng oh, oh, oh. Lumalamoy na naman! Lumalamoy ba ang ating kadita? Hindi pa rin with the Tyrant Race. Hindi pa. So, kinuha ng Valentina na ultimate ni kadita. Oh, what a kill coming from Harris. Namatay ang ating marksman hero na si Kari. So they can contest a turtle fight. Oh, since they are the second turtle. Oh, lumalangoy na. Oh, the pangalawang lumalangoy na ating mga dalawang kadita. Pero original at saka PK. Oh, what a kill coming from the link itself. Double kill coming from link for the UCLM. And the kill coming from the glue of the UC main. Bumabawi naman talaga na ng taga UC main. Pero mas pabor pa lang ang UCLM. Oh, eto na sinasabi na ko ganina, partner, na ano, na pag naka-item tong sun kahit saglit lang, talagang papalag na to eh. So, ayun, ganina nakita natin sa class kung gano'n kahirap ka naman. Oh. No. So, the second turtle goes to Ling. Go to UCLM, nasanib na naman, hindi pala natutuloy. Well, while Lane goes to his blue buff, on the other side, the top lane with the... the oh, what a uh, tyrant's rage coming from Kukra! Oh my goodness, with the, so, with the kill, grabe ng Kukra. Oh, yung kanina part, yung kaninang laro partner, ano, malakas yung carry kanina, yung previous game kasi... Di ba, malakas naman yung carry talaga. Top pero one yung, meta yung carry. Oo, oh, oh, top one meta. Pero ang kulang lang kasi ng, ano, yung laro kasi kasi. Oo, oh, lumalangoy oh. na naman. What a killing spree coming from Kadita. Grabe naman talaga to. Nangingisda pa gani. Ito, burado talaga. Pag Kadita talaga kalaban. Kaya guys, sundin nyo yung ano. I mean, not talaga sundin, but... Oh, what I mean, a uh, off-cam kill coming from Kari. Na napitas ang... Harit ng UC main. Grabe ng Kari. Sinasaliban oh, ata na si Rainier kanina. Ah. Now, with, with the item of Berserker Fury for Lee. Oh, lapo, lapo. Destroy the bottom lane. Eto, umiikot na ang ano. Ang blue team sa taas. Oh, oh, oh. with a divine judgment. Oh, pumunta na with the tyrant spray. No good. The killing spray coming from Lee. Namatay ang Valentina. Lumalangoy na naman ang ating kadita with the mega kill. With the Tempest of Blade. No good. A double kill coming from the Ling. What a nice clash, partner. Oh. Hindi naman in-expect ang ating UC main sa ganun na sitwasyon. 
Pero kasi partner hindi talaga makakagalaw. Um, actually, sa picking pa lang, uh, pabor na talaga yung UCLM. Kasi nga, kahit mobility-wise talaga lahat ng hero, as I've said earlier ng UCM, talagang madidisable talaga sa eh. Kasi may kufra. May ano, may lapu-lapu sila. Pang crowd control. Oh, Ito naman dito sa... Lumalawin na naman ang ating kadita na nasa niban pa sa kari. Namatay ang ating kari. But for the turtle goes to UCLM. Pero ang ating Valentina kinuha ng ultimate ni, Frank, ni Kufra, which is the Tyrant's Rage. Hindi pa rin. Na-split-split kami from Glow. Sumasanib sa Lapu-Lapu. Ay, ay, Kufra pala. So, oh, with the Tyrant's Rage coming from... Oh, what a shot down. And unstoppable coming from Kadita. Lapu-Lapu. Grabe naman talaga to. Yung mga trades. But they destroyed the tower. Sa, sa no, top lane pala. Ang middle lane. Yung 3 on 2, 3 on 2 from the lane and the and lane and others. So 4 on 2, ay 4 on 2 na pala sa bottom lane. So makapitas ba sa bottom lane? Oh with a divine judgment. Oh with a brave, brave spider with a zap and force. Oh what a kill coming from Lapu Lapu. Oh lane, oh lane. They for, he forces back. Na may saniba na hindi pala. Mas split split na ba? Oh, lumalangoy na naman ang ating kadita. Na matay, napitas na ang ating lapu-lapu. Oh, what a kill coming from Kukla sa Valentina. Oh, another exchange of trades with the split split. Oh my God, the giant baby. Oh, what a kill coming from Kari with the double kill coming from Kari. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness with the clash. Exchanging of trades, pero successful gihapon ng atong UCLM sa ganyan na sitwasyon partner. Oo, oh, yun, yung, yun yung sabi ko kanina. Pag nakataba yung, ano, yung carry talaga, mahirap kalabanin. Lalo na't yung carry, merong tank na nagpo-front talaga sa kanya para iligtas siya sa ano, uh, para di siya makil, para di siya masustain and maburst ng kalaban. Oh, kaya, oh, oh, with the tyrant wave, oh. lumalangwin na naman. Pumitas na naman ang ating core na link. Hindi mo mabumabalik ka naman. Hindi pa rin na napitas ang ating kukra sa kanila sa, sa kabila. But, they have a lord, the first lord. Actually, they have the first lord goes to UCLM since they have the poten potential to finish this game. But the UC main, they can have a adjustments on how, what is exactly na paano nila na mapitas yung kadita nila at saka kari. At yung link pala na maisi split push sa kabil sa kahit na sa ang lanes kung vacant. So partner, so eto nakakita natin we are at the 10 minute mark uh, 196 in favor of UCLM good lead will be almost 7000 eto ang carry talaga partner hindi talaga to mapipigilan nga as of now kasi hindi pa nakataba yung sun eh uh, eto ang lord nagpupush na sa mid middle lane oh, no. oh with a flick by combo coming from the tyrant switch and kill is becoming from the kupra lumalang na naman ang ating kadita monster kill coming from the kadita and Shut down for Kufra in the killing spray. Cinco, ah, malapit na palang Cinco kamote. Hindi pala. Now with the split split coming from blue, pumipitas ba? Oh, I guess oh, this will be the end. No, they, will, they are pushing now at the, at the tower of the, uh, the crystal of the uh, UCM. So now that will be the end of the uh, game. So congratulations for taking the game one. So partner, uh, kita mo naman partner na hindi talaga magagalaw yung ano, mga hero ng UC main kasi nga nagpick sila ng Kufra. So, bali, kung or kasap talaga sa isip nila na iban yung Kufra, medyo tagilid talaga doon yung CLM, pero naunahan sila magpick eh. Kaya, kaya nga eh, na hindi nila naban ang Kufra kasi oh, oh. kasi uros mo mobilize yung UC main. Oo, oh, dapat lang talaga nilang ipick yung Kufra. Kasi nga. And, in addition pa talaga doon pa, yung ano, carry pick. Carry pick talaga number one. Hindi talaga kaya ano, hindi talaga kaya kalabanin ng ano, ng kalinang carry yun eh. Kahit sa 1v1 situation, siguro pwede yung pupol. Kasi kagaya nung kanina, di ba? 
Lugi yung talaga yung Pwede din sa Beatrix. Oo, oh, pwede rin yung Beatrix yung as long as in, yung carry kasi kahit masakit short range lang eh. Short range hero lang yun kaya medyo ano lang talaga siya. Uh, mahirapan talaga siya sa laning in, in the early game pero sa long game pag naka-item burado talaga yung ano eh. Kung sino makikita niya burado talaga. Kaya nga pala na top 1 meta yung carry natin. Even in FM4, maraming gumagamit ng carry. Oo. Oh. Since yung carry as eh, yung damage output ng carry is above the roof talaga. And then, in addition pa dun yung Kadita pick. As I've said kasi, mahirap kalabanan yung Kadita. May, may wave yun. Hindi mo kayang ulihin. Hindi mo kayang ano. Hindi mo kayang i-predict kung saan siya. Ano. Pwede ba pwede siya mag-stop? I-stop lang yung wave niya. Oo, oh, oh, may petrify pa. Ta- tsaka yung ano, yung parang torrent niya. Tapos yung ultimate niya na burado ha, talaga sa combo niya eh. Combo ng Kufra at saka ni Kadita, oh. Robby. Ang yeah. stoppable talaga. Tapos yung Ling is ano, efficient siya sa farming niya eh. Kinukuha niya talaga lahat ng objectives. Wala siyang pinapalampas kahit isa. Tap- tapos may Kadita siyang clash. Respond. Ay, para siyang barangay tanod eh. <laughs> Talaga rumi-responde talaga. Mga pulis. Oo, tapos alam mo naman alam mo naman yung Ling, eh, yun yung pinakamabilis na hero. So, Siyempre, aabutan mo yung Clash bago mamatay yung ano, kakampi niya, di ba? Kaya nanalo, nananalo siya sa Clash nila. Kudos to UCLM wins for the first game. That is actually a very nice game. Props to UC Maine. So So we will have a five minutes break for uh, game two of UCLM and UC Me. So stand by lang kayo. The magic this Christmas season with Virginia. the magic this Christmas season with Virginia.
the magic this Christmas season with Virginia. the magic this Christmas season with Virginia. Okay, so welcome back to the stream. So this is Sisafi Esports 2022. And of course, we're your casters for today. I am Dion and I'm with Kuya Mo. Sumail. Okay, so uh, last game was a very exciting game. It was a fun game actually. So again, this is a best of two series between UC LM and of course UC Main. So uh, Kuya Mo Sumail, what do you think uh, happened to that last game? Uh, uh Kudo was very commendable on his um, Kadita plays. Yes, he was able to pick off. Uh, he was able to pick off the marksman of the offside opposite mm -hmm. team, mm -hmm. and that gives them an upper hand to grab the game, and that and that quick, as that quick. Oh, okay. So, uh, do they really need to fight? Uh, for the side of uh, UCLM, right? 
uh, do they need to ban out this Kadita or do they need to find a counterpick towards it? Yeah, I think so. They or they or they can also counterpick it. Mm -hmm. They will deny pick it for for the hands of Kudo, so that he will be forced to use on other heroes like Farsa, mm -hmm. Eve, or even Savior. Mm -hmm. Slow heroes, indeed. So we have here the first uh, ban coming out for the side of ECLM. We have a, a carry ban considering that this is the meta pick and it was evident for the past games. Uh, and of course, a Hayabusa ban. Uh, was Hayabusa picked in the last game? No, it's also banned. Oh, it was banned as well. A like Grok ban as well. I think these are the comfort tiers for the side of UCLM. So this is the first game of this day that no carry has been picked mm -hmm. and it has been banned right away by UCLM. It really is a meta hero. Uh, so we can see UCMN, did they uh, pick carry in the first game? No, it was UCLM who uses mm -hmm. carry. UCMAN, they pick, they pick, um, they pick Harith, I think, on the gold lane. A Kaja ban as well. They really do not want a divine judgment for their hands. I think they're going for uh, the single the hero type of targets coming out from UC main. Uh, UCLM, I didn't see the last game though, but uh, from the previous games that I saw from uh, them play, they actually play in a group style right here. But again, uh, they gave out this Kadita. So yeah, this what are your uh, props to this Kadita pick? This is what I said to you, Chris Dion. They counter pick, I mean, they deny pick this Kadita on the hands of Kudo mm -hmm. and let's see what Kudo will bring out on another heroes he will be using he can use Farsa, he mm -hmm. can use Eve he banned on this 1-1 one, one, and of course a glue pick as well uh, this is actually, uh, I think all games had glue picks uh, I think it was in the second match where they banned out glue but yet again, it's highly evident that glue and carry is always present in these matchups recently uh, the, the best counter, he, the best counter pick for glue is Paramis, mm -hmm. but if UC Main will pick this Paramis, they will force this Kadita on the wrong position. So I think they'll pick this Paramis in order for this blue to be somehow not denied. Yeah. Effective. yeah, yeah. And oh, they picked out a Bruno burst damage coming out a counterpart towards this one one, considering that the one one has been uh, nerfed recently. So, uh in a gold lane matchup right here, one one versus Bruno. Who do you think has the upper hand in laning right now? One one against Bruno. I think on the early stages it's gonna be the Bruno. Mm -hmm. His first, first damage. damage from his first Sir. kill. Uh, the, the balls are so, uh, it's so, it's so, it's so huge for the one one to handle. Yes, of course. Uh, I think if they want to lane out with the Bruno versus one one matchup, I think they must put a, a position five actually to support up this one one. Uh, what do you think uh, is a position five roamer right now that is actually highly good uh, in teaming up with this one one in the gold lane? Maybe a Digi can do. A Digi or maybe Rafaela. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Rafaela. Does, uh, does the utilities, the heal, highly evident, and of course the movement speed additional. And the third band for the UCLM is the Lapu Lapu. It is a good pick as well against these 1-1 one, one. Mm -hmm. and it can tight, in. it can go jump into the back lanes and it will give 1-1 one, one a hard time. They banned out the Fanny for some reason. I think uh, UCLM has a Fanny picker towards their side because uh, they banned out this Fanny. This is uh, very good considering uh, that they do not have that Kaja for the other hand. I find it would have been a good pickup, but they banned it for the side of UC main. So UCLM, they now have the pick position. What do you think is uh, the hero that they need for their draft right now? I think, uh, I wonder what is the UCLM's third pick? Maybe mm. it's already, this, I think it's their fourth pick, Hilda fourth pick. So it's but a Hilda actually. Yeah, Hilda can be in the wrong position since this blue is so viable on the XP lane. Mm -hmm. And on UCLM, UC main, what do you think are uh, effective heroes for this draft they have. Considering that they have picked out uh, this, uh, this what do you, what's the name of the hero again? Bruno. No, no, no. Uh, the UCLM position Kadita. 5. He hasn't been picked recently. Uh, they picked out this Akai and a Frederin as well. Considering uh, with, the, with the heroes they chose right now, utility wise, they have a heavy spin available. They have the taunts coming out from this Frederin. They have pullbacks coming out for the side of this Faramis and as well a knock up coming out from this Kadita. Stun wise, UCMN, uh, UC Main, they picked up heroes that are for clashes. 
But for UCLM, they're going for sustain and sideways as well. With the Hilda, I mean the Hilda, I forgot the name. So, yeah, Hilda. The last pick is Ling since it is effective for them in the last game. Yes, sir. Duin is, um, is explosive using this Ling. The sling is actually good considering that UC Main, they have these heroes that are very uh, dependent on each other. They are a uh, team fight type of heroes. And with the presence coming out from the Ling, the global presence, which can go anywhere around the map with that access, with that farm uh, he has, this is highly good for them right now. Oh, the middle lane for the UCL land is Valentina. It's gonna be in the hands of Hudo. So, para nag switch lang itong si, si Dean. Yes, sir. So thank you. And I think you're just waiting for Kuya Dex. And I think that is it. Welcome to the Land of Dawn. This is game two of our UC Main versus UCLM. This is Isafi 2022 Esports. And this is game two. Uh, this is a best of two series, considering that this is still in the group stage right now. Top side, they're leaving this Runo alone, Kuya Musumail. I, what do you think is in the plans coming out right here for the side of UC main? Maybe the Bruno. They think that Bruno can solo, um, solo lane this one one, since he has the advantage on in terms of damage, mm -hmm. in terms of laning phase as well. So interestingly, uh, Dean on the top lane, he they they cut the waves with devs, mm, the XP. which brings him. The knock up is right there. I think they're looking for a taunt right here, but it's not available right now. The Hilda in the front side, they try to look down, but of course, our Pharah missed. The pullback is right there. The knock up as well. The combination is highly seen right now from UC Main. The coordination of skills, but Clue will be right here. Looking for a pounce, but will not catch up onto anyone. Another knock up popped up onto this Glue. Meanwhile, our Hilda will just back out for the count. No one died in that initiation, but the aggression coming out from here uh, from UCLM is highly evident right now. That was just a poke for both of the teams, but I will give that trade, I mean, an upper end to the UCLM since two resources from the UCLM has been popped. The flicker of mm -hmm. this Paramis and... Oh, a initiation. Of flicker coming out. Just trying to escape, but of course the blades are out coming out from this sling. They look forward, but they cannot catch anyone right now. The turtle is nearly spawning. They need an early level Akai. This is still a level 3 Akai. They now have the heavy spin available. The turtle is up and going ready in the top side though. Still a 1v1 situation. This is what I said to you, Kois Dion, that the Bruno can easily uh, take and own this lane. That's why UCLM, mm -hmm. they focus on ganking on this bottom lane. Help 1-1 one -one to grab his items and in the late game, maybe he can sustain this Bruno. Mm -hmm, that's indeed true. Two minutes in the clock right now. Top side there looking for an initiation. Frederick in the front side. The quote altar will be top right now. No one will die in the hands coming out, but the slash is available right here. But it's a split, split. 1v2 situation in the backside. The Valentina is up and going. Pushes him down in the tower side. He goes down for the count. This glue will not be available. Heavy spin right here. Looking forward to kill this fa uh, Hilda on the run. They look forward. A 2v3 situation. Valentina in the backside, but the slash and the dunk coming out for the side of this Hilda. And of course, our blades coming out for the side of this sling. We'll just chase down and back down in this situation as they look forward to at least damage up this turtle, I think. And they're now controlling up the turtle, but they are very low right now. So I think they're just reset in the situation. That is a fair trade there in the side of the jungle lane, but the... I mean, on fire was picked off on the top lane beforehand, which gives UC Main the better trade on that altercation. Mm -hmm. So we have here the Hilda positioning himself right now. He's just uh, giving map awareness to his team, considering that the turtle has spawned. A knock up is available. He hits up onto this Hilda. Top side, Frederick is up and going as well. They are now rotating around the map. They're just letting this sling just walk globally, considering that the global presence from uh, the pounces are available. But I think this Akai in this bottom side will not come up already. Merg, merg, well already. But 2 1 still. They're now starting this turtle mid side, though. They are uh, trying to find a position, grouping themselves up. 
Frederick in the front side. This is a 3v1 situation. They are now grouping up, looking for a taunt. Catches down two. Cold Altar being popped. The turtle is available. Tempest of Blades being popped. They are chasing down for more. Another counter. Uh, Cold Altar is available. They look forward for a stun. They're all coming out from this. Kadita will catch up onto no one. An initiation. Glue in the backside. Another knock up being popped right here. They're looking forward for the backside, but the heavy spin. Looking for a potential kill in the backside. Glue is up and going. Mid side though. They are looking down to kill out this Frederick. A 2v2 situation. Valentina in the backside will just evade in that clash. A one for nothing exchange. They have not taken the turtle as well. Grabe, ang taas ng team fight na yon at isa lang yung namamatay yun lang nang si Dean. Pero nakuha yung turtle ni uh, ni Dwin, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, Dwin. Well, that, that is a, a good upper hand there for UCLM. Indeed. But uh, the problem right here for UCLM. Considering that they have the pokes, they have uh, every utility needed, they really can't find anyone uh, to be taken down. They lack burst potentiality right here. And in terms of burst potentiality, bottom side, I think this will be a casualty as they will try to find an entrance. They find out, and the ult coming out from the Ganita right away, the cold altar popped as well. They are looking forward to push, considering that they lack skills right now. Kauto in the backside, slashes in, coming out from the Tempest of Blaze from this link. A counter initiation, the heavy spin is right there, but will just dodge out everyone. The link with the Tempest of Blaze will catch up to no one right now as they will just evade yet again. UCLM, they lack burst potentiality. Again, that was a long team fight, but Ooh, no casualties except for that. that. A solo kill by Monster King onto Amos, and that is a good trade for the turret. 3-3 uh, to one score and 2k gold lead not so big for this 5 minute matchup right here as I think they will just push down this mid side and they have the greatness about UCLM is having this Valentina you can get down the cold altar you can get the heavy spin which is highly good for them but the only thing lacking from them right now is this burst potentiality I think they really need this Bruno to be online the soonest possible way now Dean he has been caught out by two people and he paid his life in that um, altercation there so this gives UCLM an easy turtle mm -hmm. and they will not contest that whatsoever that's very far away a pullback coming out from this fire miss, but they will not uh, take his life considering that they, they lack burst potentiality as I said and 2-4 they really need this Bruno to be online the soonest possible way top side. This is Frederin versus Glue Sustain versus Sustain. The Valentina in the mid side. There's just zoning around the map. The map control is highly evident right now with this hill that they're not afraid to actually just go in and farm steal their utilities but as i can see right here yet again the hilda just poking around the map looking for a way to mitigate uh, their positions but of course this is a 1v4 situation and that will be a knock up a successful kill finally for the hands of uc main you just said it dion that this this hilda is so annoying for uc main which gives them to kill this, Ooh, but Bruno. they're looking for it right now. The all from this Kadita Tempest of Blades. They're looking for a kill. A slash, a slash, and another slash to ensure the deal. The cold altar, the heavy spin just to roll up this lane. Will he go down for the cover? Ooh. Still alive! Still kicking in this matchup right now as they look forward for more. And the cross bouncing takes down one, possible two, as they take down four. UCLM controlling the game and controlling the fight as they push down in this mid side. Oh no! What is hap what is happening there? Uh, the Bruno, he was he was able to kite down, but the 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 the, the, the stealing from Crudo mm -hmm. of the Faramis ult was there to save him. Yes, indeed, he was uh, able to escape in that matchup. I mean, uh, this Ling, uh, he they lacked damage yet again to actually just kill up the Ling. It was not successful enough to take him down, and which led him to escape in that clash. Yeah, with one HP, man. Yes, that Ling sir. was so lucky. And. Uh, of course, uh, the cult altar for both sides. The Valentina pickup is highly good, considering that they steal up this cult altar, which is a counter initiation. Yet again, they find this Faramis, and that's another kill for the side. And this is an opening for them right now, considering that the the, the Lord is up and going. Oh no, this is not a good play for UC Main since this one one is now is now on on this game. He can just easily cut people in the bot lane. Here comes looking the rough forward, and he does team. kill him. That's a good initiation. They take down the 1-1, one, one, which is highly needed for this, uh, this Lord pickup. 
But on this bottom side, the cold altar will be popped. The Hilda will go down for the count. So this will be a 3v5 situation. Will they engage or will they not? They jump in right here. The Tempest of Blades pop. As Bruno goes down for the count, they look down for more. In the back side, though, the glue is up and going to defend it all up and sustain all the damage that are available. Frederick in the front side, they can't take him down because it's split, split. But no, he tries to engage and find a way to control him up, but was not sufficient enough to actually uh, kill anyone in that. So he just canceled it. And again, UCLM was able to catch Amos again. 0-3 on his KDA. This gives Kuroki the best and the better marksman in this game so far. It's indeed true. They now positioned themselves up. They have now taken this Lord. This is not a Luminous Lord though, so this is very good. A knock-up is there. They knock up the sling. Will it be successful? The Tempest of Blades to escape from death yet again. A 4v5 situation across the crossbar tank is available. It was not successful though. The Gold Altar, they popped it all up. Backside, the Bruno positioning himself. And of course, a heavy spin to actually take one down. They tried to chase down for more as the sling is highly available. They stun him up. The Petrify will not be successful as this will be another kill coming out from the hands of Valentina. This is a Lord pushing down this mid side. They they have the skills, they have the damage right there coming out from UCLM. What can UC main do? Frederick in the front side, he tries to taunt it all up, but the damage output from this Hilda himself, he takes on one. And of course, our farm is in the front side, and of course, it's Akai. They try to look to, for a defense, but I think they will try to look down for more. Tempest of Blades, they try to find out this Bruno, and they, they successfully take him down. But I think this is a dead Ling, as that will be it. It will not end the game, Kuya Musumail. The aggression from the Ling, he was able to grab the life of Bruno, but it is good trade as well on their side since there are still waves pushing in on the top lane and also on the bottom lane. And this is gonna be uh, an almost base turn Ooh, number two. He taunt from him, trying to go in. Frederick in the backside, the Cluedo, trying to control him up. But I think he will go down for the cover. The Gold Altar to save him up. I think they have still the 1-1 one -one right here. Looking forward to at least find that crossbow of Tang, but was not successful. They pop out the wind of nature, but the tower was hitting him all up. So he goes down for the count. They have not taken down this top tier 3 tower yet, but they now have taken him down. So this will be an entrance, but UCLM, they still have not ended the game, Kuya Musumail. Kuroki there was too greedy, but in, in trade, they got the tier, two, tier 3 turret on the top lane, and this is gonna be on another uh, advantage for the UCLM in terms of map Oh, a two-man knockup! The damage output was not sufficient though. They tried to look forward right here as the Ling tries to go in. Takes down one in style. The Tempest of Blades tried to knock up him all. But he's not successful to take down at least one. But backside, Bruno takes down Glue. Backside, Ahato Adring. Oh, Ling looking down for more. The heavy spin is highly available as they look forward to just initiate or back out in this clash. Considering that the 1-1 is available right now. Up and going. 12-10. As yet again, UCLM not successful to take down this game. Kuyam <laughs> Sumail. Again, the greediness of UCLM, they could just wait for the Lord or they could just go push the last turret on the bottom lane, but they engage against the UC main, which gives them an, an, an opening for the UC main to contest this next Lord. Yes, that's indeed true. And the greatness of this next Lord is that it's a luminous Lord. And considering with the lineup that UC main has, they lack damage. Uh, they do have damage right now, but considering that the scale in comparison to War at UCLM with this Luminous Lord, it will be uh, a bit difficult for them to defend, especially having it as a front side and they have a 1 1 with the crossbow tank. Yeah, in this Lord fight, as you can see, the position of Akai, no face checks on for the side of UCLM. But will they contest this? Look at this Frederin though, in the front side, just spamming it all up in the back side. They find out this Poseidon girl, they take. Down this Kadita as right here to control up this Frederick in the mid side. He goes down for the count as they look forward for more. Faram is seen in the back, and of course, 1 1 is right here. Cold Altar being popped, but he will go down for the count as 3 for non exchange. They look forward for more. Bruno, a 1v4 situation. The slams are right there for this Hilda. Try to chase him all up under the Faramis. Well, I mean, that Bruno will go down for the count. The Hilda will be the counterpart, though. 13 23 will be the score. They try to look down for more. The heavy spin is highly available. They push them all out of this area, but the clue available in position. They try to find for a location where they can position themselves with this Valentina. Tries to take down this fire miss. Goes down for the count as this will be a 2v2 situation right now as Ling and 1 1 will just pursue this luminous lord. 
Now, that is the discipline on the side of UCLM. But Kuro, Kudo, he was able to pick off Dean on their base. And will this be the, the end push for the side of UCLM? 1-1-0, one, one, no. the Lord is now charging up onto this mid side. This is a luminous Lord. The good thing about UC Main right now is they still have time left for them to uh, respawn this last zero. This is still a 4v5, but now with the Luminous Lord, this will be a 5v5 situation. In comparison, they have the Lord right here, healed on the front side. Lane just pushing down this bot. They have the Kadita available to pursue this lane. They will not knock him up, but now in the mid side. The creeps are just highly uh, full right now in their plate, but I think the two man rock up, they take him down in style. Blink goes down for the gun as this will be a 3v5 situation to call the ultimate to save him all down. But backside, Valenzinga goes down for the cap. Actually, will this be a comeback? Chan right now on the chase. Glue will just back up. Hilda though looking for a comeback play, but he'll be spotted. I think they will push down this mid side. Hilda just zoning around. That was a good clash uh, with this Kadita. That was a good initiation to take down the lane. Dean, Dean, Dean. He was able to get the petrified and the knock up plus the rough Woo! waves to kill both of the cores from the UCLM. Hiroki and Dwin. And Goes now down. This, might, this might be the turnaround or an opening for the UC main. Yes, sir. UC main right now. As time passes by, they make this Bruno online and this Kadita as well. They really need Kadita to position himself to actually just kill this sling. Whatever he does, uh, he just prioritizes this sling. They can win this match considering that uh, Ling with that global presence and Kadita just backing up. With that global presence is highly, uh, <clears throat> highly difficult to handle considering that their heroes are reliable on each other. Bottom side though, Bruno. They push down this tier 1 tower finally, but the Ling is now present in this map. They have the Valentina in position right here. They have stolen the heavy spin, so they must be very cautious in towards uh, pursuing this Valentina. They have utilities for their side. They do not have a cult altar though for the side of UCLM. Now it's all on the hands of Dean for the side of UCLM. He, he should be able to grab some pickoffs like what he did a while ago. Mm -hmm. The best target could be... Kuro, Kudo, but or Dwin. No, he's trying to catch up, but the heavy spin will save him. Realizing that they do not have a heavy spin, this could be a potential entry right now for the side of UCLM. And now, it's gonna be another Lord. Will UC Main contest this Lord? Let's see, let's see. As uh, the greatness about UC Main right now is they are now online with this Bruno. And of course, Dean with this mage. They have the burst potentiality that they need to actually fight back in the 5v5 situation. Although Dean has a lot of deaths, maybe he, her, his um, perfect targets are so on point. Um, Kuroki, Kudo, and Dwin, again, that should be his targets. Mm -hmm. That's indeed true. Because uh, Kudo and Kuroki and of course Dwin, uh, they're uh, super soft to the point that he can just one-hit them all. They just one-hit one combo them all, actually with this Kadita pickup, but this is now a level 2 Luminous Lord charging up into this mid side. They have the utilities they need. What did they steal? A knockup was not sufficient. The Lord now charges them all up as they try to find a position and as well, the Lord is now charging up to this mid side. The cold altar will be popped. They spot out this Matilda. I mean, this Hilda will go just back out and pop the immortality mid side. The Lord is now pushing as they try to lock down for more. The twist best of blades. They try to take them down, but I think they're just pursuing this tower. The heavy spin is available and the glue as well. They take down the one one, but look at the sling hitting down this tower. Slashes it all down. I think he's just trying to escape, considering that they cannot push again for the side of UCLM. UC main with that defense, clear Samuel. Have you seen the? damage from Amos, he was able to pop Kuroki with just two hits. Even though there is this uh, win of nature, there is still the potential magic burst from Chan and Dean. Yes sir, that's indeed true. 1-1 one, one out of position in that match, I mean in that clash. But right now, I think 
what UCLM really needs to do is just freeze the map, let them all get out like this. They are trying to clash right now. The cold altar will be popped. The utility is being popped as well. They try to look forward with the burst potentiality with this Bruno in the positioning. They take down the Hilda. Finally, as they now go down for another kill, Glue will be the next target. The split split will be popped as well. As they have the burst potentiality, they take down the Faramis. But the Faramis will be back in a bit. So this is just a trade-off. But in terms of cooldown timers, UC Main has the upper hand advantage right here, Kuyama Samuel. 18 minutes now, and can you see items, the items for now? Uh, maybe uh, everyone in here already has their uh, immortalities. Immortalities. Everyone has this, their core items, and maybe they can still buy and sell with immortality plus the winter truncheon. Yes, sir. The very good combination of streamers with <laughs> the immortality, immortality winter truncheon. Immortality with their truncheon. Yes, sir. So 1926, 19, 19, 19 minutes on the clock right here. Uh, UCLM highly evident in utility taking. They take down three turtles. Uh, they, I mean two turtles. They take down three lords as well. Uh, but somehow they still can't find an ending to this game. UC main with the defense is just so good right now. And as you can see, the map UCLM is looking for something on his bottom lane with two cores over there. Maybe they're spotting out the rotation from Dean. Because Dean is the opening for UC Main. He should, he should get the best targets here. Yes, sir. And this is the fourth Lord, everyone. So uh, might as well remind everyone that this is the fourth Lord. And yet again, Fire Miss. I mean, this Akai is just positioning himself on towards this uh, Lord. Considering that he has the retribution available, Hilda, I think, will still not spotting him. I think Maybe. they're not checking the Maybe. bush. Will this Maybe. be a steal? And it will not be a steal as Valentina is right there. The heavy is being, being committed. I think they're just trying to find a way to escape. But I think he will go down for the count as they try to chase down for more. The cold altar will be available to take down the Akai. Hilda on the front side. The Poseidon ult coming out from this Kadita to take down one. The taunt is available for this Frederin. Meanwhile, Ooh. they pull him back right here as Faramis takes down Ling. It is a one for one exchange. But this will be a push down 20-27. The scoreboard is just a lie right now with the 20-minute mark that we're in. This is a level 3 Lord right now trying to push in. They, they still have the 1-1 available. They do not have a 4 uh, They have a 4v4 situation. The, the taunt is going down for this Hilda as he's very low right now. But the Lord yet again just melting on towards this Bruno with that high burst potentiality damage. Kuya Musumail. Again, this is going to be another next Lord fight once again. Unfortunately, WJR, he wasn't able to steal and UCLM wasn't uh, able to uh, face check on that tribush there. But fortunately, Kudo for UCLM, they secured the Lord. Yes, indeed. 21 minutes on the clock, 100 seconds before this Lord spawns yet again. Uh, for the side of UC Main, they're just having this good defense with the usage of this cult altar. They're not afraid to actually clash inside uh, their base, considering that they have the cult altar available. And when they're low, just, they're just gonna back out to the fountain and just come back right in, right away. And of course, this Bruno with the high burst damage potentiality. They, did you see how well they uh, melted down that lord? Even Kudo, even Kudo can steal this, um, uh, this. A cult Arthur for their team to sustain some damage as well, but Amos, the, the damage from Amos, man, it is it is too huge for UCLM to handle. Yes, indeed, that's true. Uh, so to the viewers that are watching right now, continue to love and share the stream so that everyone will enjoy. And of course, major shout out to the official sponsor for Zisafi, Virginia Basta Hot Dog, Virginia. Virginia. That's indeed true, the best hot dog in the world. Let me drink Virginia, guys. Margin ako masultin ninyo, guys. Mo na pamaho ng ganina? Mo sa nao pamaho ganina? Mo nang laksi kay may magkastron kay baong ano? Kay lami ang Virginia. Basta pa nito Virginia ganina. Basta boarding student ka, Virginia. Ana na. Saglan lang, saglan ang ukuan. Pwede rin sagos sa sandwich. Ana ana mo. Ano saglan kanon? Napay ketchup. So anyway, guys, uh, this is yet again UC Main versus UCLM. This is a best of two. Uh, Series right here. Uh, this is the last match of the day. Uh, this is e uh, Sisafi Esports 2022. And if you shout out there, just comment down below. We'll just read it in a bit. So, uh, major shout outs though. So, a uh, friend, Yanaktan Auron. Shout out to Palermo Perandos. I love you very much. But anyway, uh, Kuya Masumail, what do you think 
the does UCLM actually need to seal the deal in this matchup? It's a before sa commands na shout out sa gusto mga taga UC since mga UC may nagaway karon. So kung ano gapon yah? Anang anang friendly friendly match ni pero competitive gapon ta. Pero kina ko sa UCLM dapat ilang target jud si Bruno si Amos and only Dwin on their lineup can do this or even Kudo can jump in with the use of the cold water. Yes, sir. Uh, as I've seen in the past uh, eight minutes, Kuroki hasn't been online whatsoever. He can't find a position uh, where he can initiate that crossbow of tank. Uh, they really can't position well with this 1-1, considering that they do not have this uh, crowd control that can lock up anyone in the hands of UC Main. Even Kuro, I think he can kill this Bruno mm -hmm. when he can stock up um, some weakest, po weakest link points for the crossbow of tank to be popped. He can... He can uh, stack on WJR or yes, even sir. devs, but I think Amos, he has this win of nature as well to mitigate the damage this Kuro might have. Uh, the thing I'm concerned right now is uh, maybe if maybe the thing you see main is doing right now is they're letting this 1-1 one -one stack up the weakest link, but when the crossbow tank emerges, they actually just pop out that cult altar. Cult altar, yeah. It's what I've been seeing right now for UC Main. They've actually been utilizing well with their with their skills available. Uh, uh, UC LM, I think they should find another way since this is gonna be the fourth. I mean, the fifth Lord for them, and still it's on a 23 minute mark of the game. The game doesn't end, and still maybe UC Main can still defend this. Or maybe we can see some other miracles to happen. Yes, sir. And just like that, they shredded out this fifth lord of the game. And that's it. The fifth lord, once again, going down to the hands of UCLM. Will this be the final lord to seal the deal? Or will UC Main once again defend him all up? And now, I think Kudo on this um, situation now, he should uh, I am you and steal the cult altar. Or because from the previous pushes of the UCLM, mm -hmm. he, he was able to steal the, the heavy, heavy spin, heavy spin yeah. instead of the cold altar. They really need the cold altar right now, especially with the presence of this Bruno and this Far with this Bruno and this Faramis, and uh, of course this Kadita with that burst potentiality. They need to find a way to mitigate mitigate their damages and of course just survive and push down this last crystal. So let's see what will happen in this push. Will this be an end? Ooh, we'll do the backside. No, the heavy spin will be committed to him. I think the immortality will be popped right here. The heavy spin coming out from this Akai and the counterpart. I think they find the Tempest of Blaze, but it was not sufficient to kill up anyone. The Lord is up and going. They're trying to pursue the tower right now with the wild one. Kuroki seals the deal. UCLM finally finds a way to end it all up. As that is it. UCLM claims this victory. Is this a 1-1 one, one or... 2-0. 2-0 actually. This yeah. is a good match, Kuya Musumail. Uh, what I think lacked in towards UCLM is the potentiality and the confidence to actually end the game. What happened there was um, UC Main focused on uh, the Hilda on, mm -hmm. on that side. When three people are onto the eyes of Hilda, which makes Kuro pop his crossbow of tank and he was able to push the turrets together. With That's indeed true. Uh, they found it pretty difficult to actually. Uh, what I was concerned about is Kuroki having the advantage to be upper hand early on. It still led them to having a 25-minute game. Yeah, the Bruno is on is online now, and it gives a hard time for using. As you can see, it it uh, it reaches to 25 minutes, or maybe I think that's 26 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. It was really difficult, but it was a very fun game, Kuya Sumail. It's a fun game, and I enjoyed it as well. Do you enjoy it, game? Yes, sir. That was a very good game. A combination of skills, a literal defense of ancients, kung tawagin. Uh, the crystal well defended from UC Main, but of course, their efforts were cut short when they found the fifth lord that was available. Yeah, these games are so promising, which makes okay. some of the teams okay. to be... Uh, to be uh, watched out by other teams as well. If this was an exciting game, Kuya Musumail, what more for next week? As uh, 
our excitement continues on to our next week. That was our last game of the day and our last match. And all the games today were actually super fun to cast and super fun to watch. To watch. So that's all for Sisafi 2022 for week four. And we hope to see you again. I'm Dion and, and I'm, I'm Sumail. And, and thank you. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Three, two, one. Merry Christmas. <laughs>